Well, if I had a social life, I'd be saying goodbye to it right about now because Fallout 4 has just come out. The hype is real and I'll be starting off a modded Let's Play. Yes, a modded Let's Play as soon as the game's out, which already has happened over here in Australia. The only mod at the moment is the Sweet FX. So it's a pretty much an E and B mod from what I understand. Like it changes the lighting and it changes just the overall tone of the game to be much more vibrant and hopefully... We'll be adding a lot more mods as we go on. So we'll have to wait and see how the mods progress. I think this will be very much like Skyrim was back on my channel. Hopefully many of you remember the good days of Skyrim mods. But without further ado, you're not here for me. You are here for the game. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Playing this on max settings as well. On Ultra with sweet effects at 1080p. So I'm really hoping for the best. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war... War never changes. That's not my favorite intro. I don't know what is. That's right up there with the Civilization series, I've got to say. Very, very deep. Alright, so we've already seen this scene at E3. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Why would I want to stop hogging the mirror when we can be a narcissistic bimbo? Oh, it can be the guy as well. But <laughs> let's go ahead and change our look. Have a close look. Here we go. Move the mouse while holding mouse 2 to look around. That's what we are already doing. So let's go. A does face 1. Oh, okay, so there's different presets that we can choose from. I guess we've got all the different stereotypes in here. Let's just go back with face one because I think that's probably the closest to my face. And, oh, wow, we can sculpt. All right, I'll leave my guy with a normal nose. So what else can we choose? We can click, no, get out of here. Ah, now we can select the area. So top lip and all that. Maybe push my cheeks in a little bit more. There we go. What about upper cheek? Can we do that? How do we get out? We just press oh, E to accept. Such a strong there we go. Chin. Cheekbones. I want some more pronounced cheekbones. Nothing too crazy though. All right. And hair. We definitely don't want to look like a 40-year-old house husband living on the doll. So let's go style S. 
Let's see. Casual camps is what we had. I think we'll just go with the 9 to 5. I think that suits me. Dapper hairstyle. Professor. Jesus. Definitely going to be quite a lot of options that we can choose from. Heavyweight. Math teacher. I guess the good old Devon on the math teacher's head makes sense. But it's not really a Devon though, is he? He's just bald and he's in denial about it. Uh, we've got the comb over as well. I don't want to look at... Be looking too seedy. I'll just go with the slick and proper nine to five for the time being. This new haircut's really working for me. It is. Oh, no. We definitely don't want two crazy eyebrows. All right. I'm just happy with that. Um, is there a way that we can stop our guy from looking as weathered as he is? Maybe if we go to forward. Hmm. I definitely assume that there's a way that you can change all of this later in, on anyway. We can change the scale of the forehead. Can have a forehead or a forehead or a five head, but I'll leave I that as that is. Thing. And let's get back. And oh, here we go. We can change the sex. E extras. Here we go. Markings. No, I don't really want any. So we can change them all off. Space to remove. There we go. And then blemishes. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. Space to remove. I want to be looking young, like a young and proper guy, like I am. All right. So, definitely not sun scorch. Get rid of the red nose. Get rid of the splotches. If only there was a way to get rid of everything that much quicker, but... Okay. I'm good. With that, so let's go E to accept. There's my strapping husband. Yeah, I know. I am quite the strapping young man. And then we go get rid of all of these. Oh, here we go. We can be boxers as well. Actually, that is sometimes what I look like. Not the broken nose. Maybe the black eye and the fat lip. All right. Let's get out of here. We definitely don't want to be looking like Rocky Balboa. So let's get out of here and out of here. And let's go B for body. All right. So we want somewhere. Let's have a look. Muscular or large? Let's go between large and muscular. You know what? Let's just go muscular all the way, I think. Oh, that's a bit too thin. There we go. We need some heft on ourselves to be out here in the wilderness. And let's go. Complete that. All right, let's get on with the storyline. Confirm character. Indeed, we do. I'm certain we'll be able to change that later on, though. And, of course, there'll be mods and all. All right, so here's our good-looking wife. Dressed up in... Well, it's 2077. Dressing up like it is the 1950s. We've got Mr. Handy over here. Game's looking amazing. I'm not sure if the frames count is coming up, but this is on max setting 60 frames a second as well. Crazy stuff. All right, the hype is definitely real. Let's just have a close look at all of this. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Oh, here he is. Let's play with Sean. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a uh, storyline to it. Now, I have been reading the Steam forums of this game, and it's been absolutely crazy, the amount of hype and just the activity of this game. So a couple of people have been posting spoilers. I'll try to keep this spoiler free, but of course... Please do expect spoilers in this Let's Play, of course. That's what a Let's Play is. I'm already liking the future already. Alright. Thanks, Kazuwa. Very, very interesting machinery here. I mean, I'm sure that's got some uses. Hopefully our wife hasn't been using it for any other reasons. This, whatever it, this thing is, the cooking machine, I guess. All right, can we go outside? I'm assuming the nuke's going to go off when we come outside. How do you get over here? Let's go talk to our wife, Nora. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's going to love this speech. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. All right, we got some Bob Ross paintings. Not really. That doesn't really look like a Bob Ross, but let's come out. Ooh. Okay, I'm blocked over here. What about, can we go out this way? Nope. Okay. So let's go around. What am I supposed to be doing? The TV's going on. Maybe we should have a look at the TV. There it is. Just a prim and proper guy, just chilling out. Play the music. We've got Vault Tech 
out to a side. Ah, here we go. Hello, now we can come outside. Good morning. Voltec calling. All right. Ah, oh, so we can use our arrow keys, I'd assume. Voltec. Voltec. Remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I wonder if the W, A, S, and D keys work. Well, what about W? No, it's arrow keys it is. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Well, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Let me guess. You want my security code or what's the social security number in America? What about... Let's give him a sarcastic answer. No, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's choose our name. I'll just choose a stock standard Arsenal Robert. Pretty much goes without saying. Now, I do have the Pip-Boy app on my phone as well, so I'll be using that, I guess, in the Let's Play. Let's see what we can... Actually, I need to press R2... Well, let's enter the name. There we go. And now we can choose our attributes. So, we've got Strength, Perception... All right, it's been a long time since I've played Fallout, so I can't really remember what all these things do. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity. I'm guessing that's how you say that. Clearly, I'm not all not all that intelligent to actually know what it means. Uh, we've got agility and luck as well. Uh, I heard that luck actually is pretty good. I remember it being pretty useful, but I'll go with um, strength. So it can carry quite a bit much more. And endurance helps with health as well so i guess i'll be needing that because i've got no doubt i'll be dying quite a bit so that's about fitness look at our little pip boy jump up and down very nice got some charisma as well definitely want to be charming the pants off some other ladies i'm guessing i won't be seeing nora anytime soon well hopefully not hopefully we can uh fling around a little bit um perception i'll upgrade strength a little bit more intelligence of course, we'll be able to upgrade all these later on as well. And agility. And we'll go five in luck. All right. I'm happy with that. I'm sure some guys are face palming, but I will play the game how I damn well please. Of course, I can deal with a little bit of help, but this is what I like the look of, so we'll Wonderful. give it a shot. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. That linguistic lingo. He's definitely got away with words, doesn't he? All right. Damn baby's crying all the time. All right, well, let's go play with him and hopefully shut up. Nothing worse than a baby screaming. Important man in my life, do we? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Ah. You gonna let me spin it? There we go. 
Sure, that'll even put me to sleep. Hey, even at my ripe old age of 23. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. You know what? That sounds pretty fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mum? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? Make sure I strategically walk five paces behind her so I can keep looking at that booty. Almost non-existent booty. Uh, why do you close the door behind me? What are you waiting for me? Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? Who knows? Let's go find it out. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Oh, Sounds no. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have... We do have coming in. That's... um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now. Open the door. I've got Sean. Let's go. Yeah. I wonder if it's the Ruski shooting at us or who? If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. All right, let's try to get there as quickly as we can. Wow, it's very picturesque little town over here. Is that a wooden bridge? Wow, I don't want to fail this right at the start, so let's go to the actual vault. Very reminiscent of that one Simpsons episode where I think there's a comet coming in to destroy Earth and everyone gets into that vault as well. Bet you like we're the last guys to be in there and we get locked out or something. <laughs> oh, you screwed us around. Can I come in? Wait, let's go talk to this guy first. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. And not me. Someone's gonna hear about this. Oh, at least they're letting me in. Where's my wife? If you're not, you don't get in. She's gone. Hopefully, we'll see her again. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. There she is. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you ma'am. Follow me. Come on. Oh, What's going to happen to all those people? I think we need all the luck we can get. Can. Now keep moving. Guess the Osprey hasn't really changed all that much in all these years either. Step on the Game looks absolutely amazing. So smooth as well. I've got to give Bethesda a tip of the hat how good this game looks. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Wow. What an intro. I wonder what happens now. I guess we're stuck in the vault. Gonna have to wait it out until. Everything burns down and the fallout hopefully moves away. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry. Of course that that's a counterweight over there. Everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we'd all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. All right, I'm wondering if this is... I guess it's not really a subway system, is it? I know Russia and like many other Soviet nations have large subway systems deep underground especially for the double use of um i think some even subway systems in russia aren't even um, used they're specifically made for protecting people from nuclear bombs and all try not to talk too much hopefully you guys also enjoy the um, dialogue down below as well the um oh, subtitles there we go dialogue what am i on about uh, so let's just keep walking i can't run take a suit take a vault seat then head down the hall 
Let's talk to this lady. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right, Doc. As you say. See? You know what this reminds me of as well? There was this, oh, um, this is one there was this of TV series facilities. where there was this the spy or someone walking through like a couple of vaults and as soon as you walked past in the intro, the vaults would close and it was like a comedy show. Can't remember what it was called, it escapes my mind. This is ages ago. Almost like 15 years ago or so. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Seems like we've got some cryogenic stations. Right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Don't tell me we're going to get frozen. Hey Just there. step in here and put your vault suit on. Take your time. We've got all day. Shh. Guess we've got the rest of our lives. Daddy's right here. See? All right, let's go to the decontamination pod. Guess it's got nothing to do with cryogenics. Thought we'd be like locked up in here, but oh, oh, we are. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the pod. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. Don't think that was supposed to happen, was it? Seems like we did get frozen. Someone manually overrode the cryogenic little chamber that we're in. Oh no. Coming after our wife and, ki and child. Kide. Mixing kid and child together. I am some genius, aren't I? Locked their workers up just to see that. That was pretty brutal. We lost a wife just like that. Right in the fields. Started out of time. Okay, so this is the mission out of time, I'd assume. Got the mission over here. Thankfully, it's nice and easy to, help, to tell where we're going if I can talk. God. Why would Voltaire do this? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Oh, God. Seems like we literally are the only ones. Why? Why'd they do this? Oh, well, at least we can run after being frozen for multiple years, I'd assume. Well, for some lengthy period of time, we can already come out. And we can run super quick. Okay, so I guess all we're doing is just running outside. I want to go ahead and explore a little bit because that's half the fun of this game. 
Let's take a coffee cup. Oh, here we go. We've got a stim pack. That'll come in handy. Check out this computer terminal. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation to unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offences. Security staff are authorised to use lethal force. So it seems like I was screwed either way. Um... Well, let's go to the security logs. I wonder if they have to say anything about us. October the 23rd. What's... Oh, it's already the 2078. The year's gone by. Alright. Well, I'll spare you guys the details. I mean, if you want to read all of that, of course, you can buy the game yourself if you do like to read all of that. I think I will do that, but maybe in a separate playthrough of the game because that's one of the best things about Fallout. So much replayability as well. And of course mods as well. So we are using the Sweet FX mod. Hopefully it looks fantastic for you guys. Oh, hello. What do you call yourself? Giant. A radroach. Roaches? What the hell? They're still alive. It's still moving. Alright, I've got it. <laughs> okay. All right, I had it in my hands or something. It was just floating, but okay, I'll take that. Um, here we go. There might be some more stim packs around. We've got beer bottles. They seem a bit empty to me, so I'll leave it at that. Okay. Of course, cockroaches suppose you can survive a nuclear bomb, nuclear fallout. So let's not actually go up in there. Looks a little bit scary. Hello. We use mouse two to block. Oh, seems like we got hit. Just a little bit more. Definitely not the smartest idea, smashing doors open. And press left alt to power attack. I don't like that. That's a little bit too close near the um, Windows key. Don't want to be pressing that. Oh, here we go. Water fountain. I am a bit parched at the moment, so I wouldn't mind a bit of water myself. Oh. Now, I'm playing this on normal difficulty. Uh, the only way that we can change that, I think, is through the options and settings. Gameplay. Um, here we go. We can change that here as well. Hard and very hard. And survival, I guess you need to actually get the food yourself. Okay. I'll just keep playing this on normal. Here we go. So let's just get out of here. Okay. Back on we go. Let's check out what's in this room. Got some rusted walls and all. Seems like we've been in here for a very long time, though. Terminal's got to be somewhere. Uh, I'd assume it's here. I wonder if they're going to give us a mini game or anything. All right, open evacuation tunnel. Please maintain all staff records and research. All right, we should be good to go, and indeed we are. So this sounds like it's the exit tunnel. There's more roaches. Uh, with a gun equipped, you can hold mouse 2 to aim. Problem is, I don't have a gun. Does that hint to me that there should be a gun here? Indeed, it does. Okay, and maybe there's some more ammo. Approach an enemy and press Q to use VATS. So the VATS is... Uh, I can't remember what it stands for, but... There we go. We can choose the um, where we want to aim at, and that's the percentage chance of actually us hitting it. So let's go... And then E to accept. Okay, I only need to shoot once. So let's go do that again. Aim at the torso. And I'll only shoot once again. Very nice. So we can switch to different enemies as well. Oh, we can, of course, aim ourselves. Oh. Oh. He just doesn't die, does he? Alright, we can take the Radroach meat. Which, rad roaches just sounds disgusting. Ugh. Of course, it's probably contaminated as well, because it's a uh, radioactive roach. Alright. Apart from me being Captain Obvious, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the story, though. Boom. Alright, 
So I do remember this bit. Question is, how do we get around here? Here we go. Oh, hello. You alive? Oh. Let's have a look at this skeleton. Oh, hello. There's our pit boy. Now, I didn't get the legendary edition. I bought this on Steam, so I don't have the cheesy bit of plastic where I can put my phone in. I'm not even sure if it would be able to take an iPhone 6S Plus. The phone's a bit big, to say the least, but very much looking forward to syncing this up with the pit boy app. Okay, so select a tab with mouse one. There we go. Uh, we can change the sections with A and D. Okay, that's fairly intuitive. All right, press tab to exit the pit boy and press tab to enter it again. Easy enough, and we can go change the perks as well. Oh, this looks really cool though. Oh. Okay. And these are like special abilities, I think. Yeah, they would be, wouldn't they? Like level 1, level 2, level 3. Haha, <laughs> that's ingenious. So we've got the strength abilities. So strength training just gives us extra strength, I guess. And oh, Okay, that's really cool. So what does alt do? Okay, let's get out of here. So we go tab to close, tab to close again. And where are we off to now? We need to go up here. So we already know what to do. That's interesting. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Very interesting looking engine as well. I'm assuming the engine's gonna like open the locks and doors and wow. Crazy process happening over here. Lights flashing around everywhere. I'd be completely out of my marbles if I saw this in real life. <laughs> Pretty sure most people would be though. Look at that light. Ah, so let's not get stuck and climb up over here. Hoping these things open. Oh, actually, we can just slam through them like a uh, shopping center. Little doors like that. Down comes the elevator, and soon we'll have our very first taste of fresh lights after the nuclear fallout. Probably the whole earth is scorched and it's a barren wasteland. Hopefully not, though. Supposedly there's big cities happening over here, and would be very cool. All right, do I want to change anything? No, not for the time being, but this will be just about the first part of the Let's Play, though. Unfortunately, I'd love to keep on recording this first episode, but Australian internet is really, really poor. So I'll go ahead and end this bit right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. I'd really appreciate a like to get this series off to a good start and we'll continue on with the uh, modded Let's Play, of course. And of course, there'll be separate mod videos as well, similar to what we did with Skyrim. But until next time though, guys, I'll see you later and hopefully you've enjoyed this as much as I have.